Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. And uh, we, I'm in a series of recordings here and making some really interesting progress. I don't know if it's the right progress or not, but it's interesting to me. And what we've done is we've got this application model that we're starting to create to represent the underlying data of the entire application. Uh, like I said, it's been a long time since I worked with Swing, so I don't know what the existing patterns are out there, design patterns. but I'm liking the direction that this is going. It seems really promising to me. And maybe I'm reinventing something that's obvious to you out there, or maybe I'm doing something really funky uh, that you with Swing Experience are looking at and saying, huh, that's weird. But either way, um, I'm going to learn from doing this, that's for sure. So what I want to do is, is have this model start with a default, um, default stock market projection. And that default mark, stock market projection is going to have certain values, and I think we want those to be. So, hmm. Yeah, there we go. You know, I don't want to assert on every single one of these values. I just don't. Um, what I think I want is I want the start market projection, rather than taking all this crap, I want it to take the first year. Well, hmm. Yeah, I think I want it to take a, a single year in the stock market as its starting value. That's what I think. So I'm going to set aside the other stuff, make sure everything's still passing for now. Um, come back to our application model test and just say to do finish this test. And then I'm going to change directions for a moment to the stock market projection test and have this take start with a year. And I don't think I need to write a new test. I think I just need to refactor this. So Oh, that's the amount that we sell every year. That's not actually. Yeah, that's not part of the first year, so that should be good enough. I hope. What did I do wrong? Okay. So we got our year. Our starting balance, oh, well, we don't need that. Starting balance, cost basis, growth rate, capital gains tax rate. Okay, good. Let's rename these. Should be growth rate. Get that 
left, okay? And this should be cost basis. And it's saying I have compile errors. I'm not seeing them. There we go. Um, let's make sure everything's still working. All right. Now I should be able to, instead of doing that, say stock market projection count equals new stock market projection. First year, number of years. Well, no, let's keep it at ending year for now, here, and then the amount we're going to sell every year, which is that amount. And that's failing because we don't have that constructor yet. So what's what am I doing wrong here? There we go. This does not feel like a good direction. I'm definitely in hacking territory, but I think I can still make it work. So this is, I mean, obviously this has got major problems, but we're making progress here. Um, and now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this forward on to this. I know that's a little weird, but um, that's how I'm currently seeing that I can break this into small pieces. So if I say this, so I need to make a... This is our first year. And what I need to do is say this first year, comma, ending year, and sell every year. Oh, except I can't do that because that's not. First line of the method. There we go. Just 
one of those fun little Java-isms. But um, we're going to get rid of this constructor anyway, so that's okay. All right, so now that we've got Now that we've got our first year, we don't need to do it here. Um, we could just pass that in. should still work. Yep. And now that we've got that, we don't need any of that other stuff. Yep. How does that look? looks pretty good. Um, which that means that now I can start doing this. Okay, at some point, all of my tests Okay, I did something wrong, for sure. where it was working. Let's do that again. I'm not sure why that didn't work. Why is this different than that. They're running the same code. The only difference is that line. Look more closely at that error. Um, hmm, I'm confused. Which is sort of my normal state of being, I have to admit. But um, let's see if this one works, and then we're out of time, so we'll have to pick it up again next time. That one doesn't work either. All right, well, I don't know why this isn't working, but we'll figure it out next time. Thanks again for watching.